It's parents' night at gymnastics practice in this gym just outside of Rochester, Minnesota. So, mom Nadia Elefondi joined her daughter Sophia on the mat to rehearse for an upcoming competition. You'd never know that less than a year before this video was taken, she underwent brain surgery for glioblastoma, the most aggressive and deadly form of primary brain cancer. I still have a wonderful life. I've got a wonderful family. Nadia is one of about 14,000 people in the U.S. who are diagnosed with glioblastoma every year. There's no cure, with many patients being given less than 18 months to live. But now there's new hope in helping some patients live longer while maintaining quality of life. I think the results are exceptional. I think that um, it, this is a very novel way of trying to attack this problem. Dr. Sujay Vora is a radiation oncologist at Mayo Clinic. He led a team of researchers investigating the use of advanced imaging techniques, including something called 18F DOPA PET and contrast enhanced MRI to pinpoint the most aggressive areas of glioblastoma in the brain. That area was then targeted with one of the most cutting edge technologies in radiation treatment called Pro proton beam therapy, which targets and destroys cancer cells with highly focused precision, minimizing potential damage to surrounding healthy brain tissue. The results, published in the Lancet Oncology, showed a majority of patients had improved overall survival. I'm hopeful that this is the first step of many. Uh, where we can continue to move that needle and allow patients to live longer and live well. Richard Casper became a study participant after his glioblastoma diagnosis in 2019. Sadly, Mr. Casper succumbed to the disease last year, but it was nearly twice longer than his prognosis. To be almost two and a half, three years in after being told a few months, it's it's quite remarkable. Mayo's Dr. William Breen is now conducting a larger study building on Dr. Vora's work. We're looking at shorter courses of radiation uh, to minimize the burden on patients and their families uh, and hopefully complete a effective and safe treatment in a shorter amount of time. Fifteen months after treatment, scans of Nadia's brain show no sign the glioblastoma has returned. We are living on the edge of medical miracles. And I live every day as if it is the best day ever. For the Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Marty Velasco-Hames.